Today we're looking at indices, we're looking at division. We've already looked at multiplication, so let's go ahead and look at this one. So first thing I'm going to look at, I'm going to look at an example. I've got x to the power of 6 divided by x to the power of 2. So if I just write that out in full, first of all, so that'll give me 6x's on the top, and I've got 2x's on the bottom, on the denominator. So if I just thought about uh, dividing and simplifying this big fraction down, if I divide the top and the bottom by x, I get a 1 there and a 1 there. If I then do it again, because I've got another x on the denominator, divide that one by 1, uh, divide that by x gives me 1, divide that one by x gives me 1 as well. So what I've got left is I've got x, x, x and x, which should give me x to the power of 4. Right then, so, so let's look at uh, another example, and let's just go for go for x to the power of 8, all divided by x to the power of 5. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm not going to do the same as what I've done up above. Uh, that looks a, a bit clumsy to, to work through. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of the rules of, uh, of indices to work this out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that I've got x to the power of 8, subtract 5 to the power, and that's going to give me x to the power of 3. Similarly, up above, if I look at this question up above, I've got x to the power of 6 divided by x to the power of 2. What I could have done there is just going for subtracting the indices, and what I'll get there is x to the power of 4, which is just the same, same answer. So what I can see here, I've got a rule that I'm going to use, and I've got, I've got x to the power of any number, call it a, and I'm going to divide it by x to the power of b. The bases are the same, the x's are the same, so what I'm going to do there is I'm going to just subtract the indices. So from there, that is one of the rules that I'm going to become accustomed to, especially with division, division of uh, indices. Okay, I'll, I'll give you a couple of questions to try. Okay, and what you can do is you can freeze the video and go ahead and do these and I'll do the answers just shortly. Okay. X to the power of 7 over X to the power of 3. I'm going to divide that. So I've got X to the power of 9 all over X to the power of... I've got a minus 2 there, so just be careful with that one. I'll go for X to the power of 4 all over X leave it like that. And um, what I'll do here also is I'll put a couple of other questions in that I would like you to try and attempt, which is a combination of multiplying and a bit of division as well. Okay, so let's, let's look at these questions here. So I'll freeze the video and try to work out what these are using the the law or the rule that we've got here, and also the rule for multiplication for the last two. Okay, here's the answer. So there I've got x to the power of 7 minus 3, which gives me x to the power of 4. This one here I thought was a bit more tricky, so I've got x to the power of 9 on the top there. I'm going to take away minus 2. So remember, with our uh, integers, that's going to be 9 plus 2, which gives us 9x to the power of 11. Okay, this one here, I've got x to the power of 4 on the top, so I've got x to the power of 4, and I've just got x on the bottom, but when I just see x on its own, remember that's got a power of 1 there. So that's 4 minus 1. So that should give me x to the power of 3. Right, on to these questions here. What we're going to do is we'll do them in two stages. I'm going to multiply the tops first using the, the rule for multiplying, and then I'll divide what's left using the rule for division. Right, so that's going to be x to the power of 3 plus 6 on the top. I've still got the x squared on the bottom. That will give me x to the power of 9 all over x to the power of 2, which should give me, when I start using the division law, and that gives me x to the power of 7. The bottom one, just the same. We're going to go for x to the power of 5 plus 7 on the top, x to the power of 10 on the bottom. I've got x12 to the top, x10, 
finally I'm going to go for x to the power of 12 take away 10, which gives me x to the power of 2. Okay, so, so what we've covered so far is multi multiplication, we've covered division, and we'll move on to the next part in the next clip. So hopefully this is helping you, Ken Maths.